the fields ripening into a golden hue. The cold winter is over, and the heat of the summer has passed, like fields ripening for the first time. Korean food is a food that is the product of the goodness of nature and human wisdom. A beautiful sunny fall day. A place where the slightest sound breaks the serene landscape. It's a kitchen. The sounds from the kitchen make us happy. The food that will soon be brought to the table is being prepared one by one. Last is the freshly prepared hot rice. To Koreans, there is little doubt that Korean food centers on rice. The main characteristic of a Korean meal is that the main dish and side dishes are clearly different and that there are many side dishes. Perhaps a Korean meal is like a family. Rice and soup are the parents and the side dishes are the children. In a Korean meal, all parts are equally important in their own respective ways and must work together in harmony. Another characteristic of a traditional Korean meal is a table set for one. Let's look at an image from a painting from the late Joseon dynasty, around the mid-18th century. In modern times, it is common for a number of people to sit and eat together. The painting depicts a reception being held outdoors, but everyone has their own table set in front of them. Traditionally, Korean dining etiquette was based on the principle of a table set for one. In a table set for two, the stew and side dishes are shared. That is also a Korean characteristic that is not commonly seen in other cultures. In Korean culture, sharing food means sharing love. When Koreans eat, we use both spoons and chopsticks. But compared to China and Japan, which are culturally similar, Koreans use spoons more frequently. This Korean cultural characteristic of using spoons came about because many of the Korean dishes are soups and stews. The Korean meal features our traditional fermented foods, which is something that has been garnering a bit of global attention. Perhaps Korean fermented foods were developed because it is a natural preservation process. This is especially important because Korea has four distinct seasons and there is a marked temperature differential between the summer and fall. Hence, fermentation naturally preserves Korean foods during the inclement weather and they are also relatively easy to store. Beans, such as soybeans, are a staple of Korean food. In particular, soybean paste, soy sauce and also red pepper paste. The Korean pastes and sauces are very important there is a Korean saying that attests to their significance. The taste of food is created by the taste of the sauce or paste. Just like in the old days, 
또 이제 조건이 좋잖아요. 환경 자체가 좋잖아요. 저희 집은. 그래서 이렇게 햇빛에서 자기네들이 발효를 해 주는 거죠. 그러니까 저는 장은 뭐 제가 만드는 게 아니라 자연이 주는 음식이라고 생각합니다. For traditional soy sauce to be made, three important factors are required. Good ingredients, suitable environmental conditions, and time. Furthermore, in order to make a good soy sauce, you need devotion over the course of time. First, the beans that have been harvested in the fall must be boiled until they become shiny. The boiled beans are put in a large mortar and crushed to make molds of soybean malt, which is called meju. Meju is made by pressing the paste between your hands or placing it in a press to form squares. The center should be slightly flat and thin to enhance fermentation. The meju is strung up with straw rope and hung out to dry. Depending on the weather, it takes about two to three weeks. Then carefully watching the temperature and humidity, the meju is left to ferment until spring. When making sauce, meju is placed in a jar which is filled with salt water. Next two important things are added, bamboo which acts as a preservative and charcoal which acts as a purifier. Then it is aged for two months. It is this type of devotion that is needed to make the sauce that is fundamental to Korean food. Earthenware jars are used to store the sauces. These kinds of jars also breathe, so to speak. That is, there is air circulation. Hence, because of the jar's exceptional permeability, harmful substances are released and the paste or food inside ferments without spoiling. Once again, thanks to these qualities of the earthenware, the natural aging process makes Korean food both nutritious and tasty. All sorts of fungi are good for humans. These sauces make it easy to digest essential nutrients that are lacking in a solely vegetarian diet, thus allowing Koreans to maintain our health. The best known Korean food is kimchi. Kimchi originated in Korea, so it comes as no surprise that there are over 300 different types of kimchi. Thus, kimchi is not only the quintessential Korean food, but it is also a representative symbol of Korean culture and the country. The fresh taste and nutritious elements make kimchi a paragon of health food that has been noted by the foreign press. On site at the Kimchi Culture Festival. The people are tasting various types of kimchi. Koreans love kimchi. Despite it technically being a side dish, you will almost never find kimchi absent from a table setting. The taste of kimchi is striking. The taste of kimchi varies depending on how long it has been fermented. There is the taste of freshly made kimchi called gotjori, then well fermented kimchi, followed by the sour taste of extremely fermented kimchi. 
The kimchi culture of fermenting vegetables makes it possible for Koreans to eat fresh vegetables in the middle of winter. Kimchi contains the wisdom of our ancestors. One major type of kimchi is kimchi made with Napa cabbage. The cleanly washed Napa cabbage is cut in half, then brined. The brining method is slightly different in each region of Korea, but unrefined sea salt must be used. Napa cabbage kimchi can be made from a wide variety of ingredients, including garlic, ginger, red pepper powder, salt, and nut products, as well as fish extract that is rich in amino acids. A great deal of care goes into ensuring that all of these ingredients are washed, brined, mixed, and minced according to their different uses. Kimchi is not simply a brined vegetable like that found in Asian cultures like China and Japan, but a unique fermented food. Animal-based ingredients like fish extract are used to produce a rich taste and further fermentation. Red pepper powder is used to prevent the fish extract from going bad, and even though less salt is used, it can be preserved for a longer period of time. Koreans say that if you make enough of it, kimchi also makes you feel full. The finished kimchi is often enjoyed with your neighbors. Korea's distinctive food culture of sharing food as a way to share love is depicted in this scene. The fermented kimchi is rich in vitamins, minerals, dietary fiber, and lactic acid. Kimchi has started to receive recognition as one of the best global health foods while maintaining its traditional taste and nutritional qualities. Moreover, efforts continue to make use of modern science while maintaining the wisdom of the past. Thus, kimchi quality control has been integrated into the process, as well as utilizing modern sanitary technology. Although the kimchi making process has become modernized, Koreans have not forgotten the all-important wisdom of their ancestors, who have passed on their fermentation process. Kimchi is stored in traditional clay jars at a dedicated fermentation and aging room. Koreans continue to use the traditional aging and fermentation process, which removes impurities through the pores in the jars, thus preserving the kimchi and keeping it fresh for a long period of time. Kimchi stored in white porcelain. There is quite a variety in the kimchi of today. 
The vast majority of Korea is mountainous, about 70% of the country, with both old low mountains and relatively new high ones. A local dish called bibimbap is the product of this natural mountainous environment where the readily available mountain vegetables are combined with each region's specialty foods and food culture. Thus, the ingredients in bibimbap differ depending on the region and season. Yet it is a dish that is visually appealing because of the harmony between the five colors found in the ingredients. 한국 음식은 채를 곱게 썰어야 돼요. 왜냐하면 굵은 채가 채의 음식들이 굉장히 많기 때문에 굵은 채가 많을 경우에는 음식이 넘어갈 때 목에서 부담감을 느끼거든요. 그래서 칼과 손의 감각을 미리 다 익혀서 안 보고도 아 이것은 두께가 몇 미리겠다 어느 정도겠다라는 것을 바로 느낄 수가 있어요. 그래서 the colorful vegetables are cut into the same thickness, length, and shape and the beef is marinated and stir-fried. The prepared vegetables and beef are placed on top of the well-cooked rice and garnish is added. The last element is sesame oil, which gives it a rich flavor. Nutritionally speaking, it is an excellent combination of ingredients, as well as tasty. Part of bibimbap's appeal is its taste. The individual ingredients keep their flavors while blending together to create a new one. Bibimbap possesses the strength and special characteristics of Korean food in one dish and is also starting to be well received overseas. 또 이제 비빔밥은 이제 동물성 재료, 식물성 재료, 그리고 굉장히 많은 다양한 재료들이 함께 들어가서 서로 어우러져서 만들어내기 때문에 굉장히 그 우리 민족의 그런 함께 어울리는 특성도 잘 나타내 주면서 영양적으로도 궁합이 좋은 그러니까 이제 대표 음식이라고 할 만한데 그게 이제 외국인들이 보기에도 굉장히 자기 나라 음식에는 없는 그런 독특한 음식이었던 게 먹힌 거죠. Jeonju is host to the Bibimbap Festival. It is known as a city of taste. When one thinks of bibimbap, many Koreans think of Chunju bibimbap, thus indicative of just how loved it is in that city. The festival is taking place at the center of the city. People from all over the region are here to participate in an event that highlights different types of bibimbap, from fusion to make your own. Bibimbap in different styles and colors. Bibimbap that reflects the characteristics of different regions is very attractive and is called flower rice because it uses a variety of colorful flowers. The highlight of the festival comes when the bibimbap, which is prepared by the participants, is mixed and shared with others. The colorful appearance of the bibimbap may be gone, but in its place are the new flavors that are created after all of the ingredients have been mixed together. Perhaps the best way to eat bibimbap is to make sure it is thoroughly mixed before it's eaten. Bibimbap also represents the aesthetics of Korean cooking. It also maintains its individuality while being mixed and combined. 
Korean food is vegetable based, but Koreans also enjoy food made with beef. One of the main dishes is bulgogi. Bulgogi means beef grilled over a fire. The thin strips of beef are marinated in soy sauce, then depending on your preference, it is grilled over a fire until it's slightly cooked or well done. It is a much loved dish today as it was in the past. This painting from the late Joseon dynasty depicts beef being grilled on a snowy winter night. We can see that even in the past, Koreans enjoyed beef in a variety of different ways. 개성 사람들이 어떻게 먹었느냐? 고기를 물론 구워 먹긴 했지만은 눈 오는 밤에 그 고기를 구워 가지고 눈에다가 녹여서 그 녹힌 거는 왜냐하면 기름기를 빼준 거예요. 그래서 그 고기가 내려오면서 양념 구이로 해서 너비안유 구이가 됐고. Nobiani is one of the major Korean grilled beef dishes. Wow, Nobiani refers to beef that is cut into flat slices. Soy sauce, spring onions, and sesame seeds are added to the thinly sliced beef, mixed well, and then grilled. This is bulgogi in its entirety. From long ago, Koreans grilled beef marinated in sauce, but it hasn't been that long since the term bulgogi was coined. However, bulgogi, also known as Korean barbecue, is popular overseas. Not overpowering, its distinctive sweet taste is part of what has made it so appealing to foreigners. Korean food is the cumulative wisdom of its people in harmony with nature.